stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as Phoenix Point continues. We did random stuff, nothing super important last time around. We're just going to kind of go around and explore, I guess, at this point. I don't really, I don't really want to go after this, but I mean, I guess we can. Eh, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, looks like Nolan managed to level up. Let's go ahead and get you some training. Uh, double your speed. Mm, double your willpower. Yeah, let's just save the points. I think that's fine. All right, let's back it up and uh, let's deploy the squad. All right, what are we doing next? Only we'll time I, I don't know. We're probably just gonna go around the map and just start finding various different things to actually do something with. I'm not entirely positive what the overall plan or goal is going to be, but I'm sure we'll manage it. It'll probably be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, now. It's a bit brighter this time around, which I'm actually very, very, very happy about. But... Eh, is it going to matter too much in the end? I think it'll be fine. Alright. We immediately see a... A little baby. I see a little baby. I'm just going to move here. And I'm going to take that shot on the little baby. Boop. Not enough to take him down, but that's okay. That's okay. That's why we got Nolan here. Nolan's like, I got this. I got this. Don't even worry about it. Look at this. Ch check me out. See that little egg? It ain't gonna live. It's gone. I might have missed two shots, but yeah, you know, it's just fine. It's probably good. Uh, oh, sorry. I was hitting the wrong button. I'm like, why is it not doing what I'm telling it to do? I'm a little bit confused. It's fine. Um... Sort of want to see more. Okay, so we see another egg there. I'm still gonna move here as a bold statement. I'm gonna move here as well. I'm going to aim down sights and say good day to Mr. Eggman. No dreams for you, friend. Keep chowing up. We don't really know what path we're supposed to be taking at this point. So we're going to kind of check out over that way. Uh, I mean, it's possible that something that's going to come this way. Like, there's a lot of possibilities going on right now. We could very much end up uh, on the short side of things. But let's see what happens. Oh, something spooky was going on. Oh, we got a free shot. He's going to go invisible and who knows what he's doing. Oh, enemy spotted, or he spotted multiple enemies, which are all of us. And he managed to get himself into a fairly good spot, I dare say. I'm going to say maybe it doesn't matter too much because I hope to be able to just take him down right now. Engaging. But we'll see. Rat's hat dead. Alright, cool. And just kind of overwatch here, I guess. Uh, Alright, big guy. Let's do this. What you seeing? A lot of nothing? Alright, I'm okay with that. Here we go. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna try to take it a little bit slower this time. I mean, I might not, might not change anything. But it also might change everything, so there's no way to be sure. Uh, we'll go here and we'll overwatch down this corridor. Again, still not sure where the enemy is going to come from. But we're going to try our very best to figure it out. 
spookums. Something spooky doing a little bit of spooky stuff. Shooting right back into the darkness there. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Alright, Mr. Invisible. Gotta find a way of seeing that. So now we're bleeding, we have a head wound. It's not great. But, eh. It is what it is. Alright, what are we gonna do now? Well, I have a pretty good idea what I'd like to do. And as long as we don't miss, I think it's gonna be fine. We did not miss. He got turned into mist. What happened to the guy down here? I didn't see. Oh, he got invisible too, right? So I'm gonna move here, hoping to see him. Dang, did, did he? Sorry, guys and gals. I, I did glance away. I was checking times and such. Uh, you can probably heal yourself, I guess. I just need to catch my breath. You're fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm on Overwatch. You are on Overwatch. Alright, so what I want you to do is this. I want you to step right out here into the midst of chaos and death. There's nothing here. Holding position. I'm on the move. Well, a little one step too far there. It's okay. We were able to rectify it. And there we go. Again, I don't know if our snipers in a good position or not, but keep an eye out over here. I feel like the eggs and things are going to continue to hatch. Oh! He's shooting them in the back. That's not great. But it has happened, and there's not really much else I can say about that other than you're going to die a horrible death. Enemy still active. Yeah. How much health do we have? Double check. Ah, we're not going to bleed out to that. Probably. I mean, it's not great. I'm here. Definitely gonna do something like that. And, and I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. Um, I'm trying to think who I want to move. spotted and what is it it's an egg doesn't seem to notice me yet target in sight oh there's an egg over there there's an egg over here neither one are hatched yet channel open moving to position Guess we'll do that. And on this side, I now know there's an egg, but it's like hidden behind something. I think we just blow this rock and everything up. Just don't mess this up and kill yourself somehow. Yeah, literally what I literally just said to you literally two seconds ago. Literally, man. Come on. Really? I'm on my way. Oh, a little oh great. Now he's preparing. Oh, well, that's, that's great. I'm super happy for us. Do we have enough will points to do this again? We do. All right, well, maybe we'll be able to rectify this issue. 
Tell you what, guys, we out. Literally, literally just didn't have to blow yourself up, man. That's it. That's it. We weren't asking a whole bunch. Just don't blow yourself up. What'd you do? You blew yourself up. Like, how is that a thing, man? Move to there, switch to your healing, heal yourself. It's not a big deal. See, you're fine. You got God a little bit. It's okay. Um, I feel like this is not the path that we need to take. I'm going to check with the sniper, but then I'm going to move the sniper out. Like, I don't think there's anything here. There's not. All right, so we're going we're gonna to return with our sniper. Let me go a different route. Our heavy should be able to, to do something here. Again, assuming he doesn't completely and totally miss. He didn't. He got it. He nailed it. Like a boss. Moving to position. Alright. I'm just going to overwatch in this general region. Uh... I mean, uh, I guess we can go over. Oh, there's somebody over here too, huh? Taking aim. Big guy. All right. He did. Cool. I'm gonna move here. Probably just again slow and steady. That's the plan. More dudes moving. Are they going to move within our overwatch range? Does not appear to be so. Alright. There's no one on this side. Essentially we can just back up and go all the way back over where the rest of the peeps are. Uh, let's get a party commissar. Mr. One Shot himself. Coming over here to do whatever it is that commissars do. They're not sniping for the ages. All right, big guy. Moving now. Step up. What do you see? Not a not a whole lot. Moving to position. Enemy in visual uh oh. Okay, it's a it's a long distance egg. I can live with that. Now. I don't believe the egg is uh has noticed us yet. We're going to scooch around the corner here. Probably just preparing for what's going to come next. Going to recover some action points. And I believe you are just going to continue your overwatching ways. It's not the greatest strategy, but it might work. I mean, we did some work. We heard him. We took out one of his arms. He's not feeling very good right now. I think we're okay. You get Mr. Dasher over here to, to on Donner and Dixon and all that stuff. I mean, we'll take that long range shot. We'll probably miss it, but we'll take it. Whoop! Nope, we landed it. Man, getting accurate in your old age, buddy. William Hensley doing work, man. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's just, he's just killing fools. Let's do this. All right, moving around the corner. What doth we see? We see an enemy. Actually, we see two enemies. Uh, well, we we see one enemy. Well, let's be let's be real here. Um, super risky play. Do we do it? We do it. We do that super risky play. Why? Because we is all in, and we are saying good day, sir. Did not work as well as I anticipated. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm gonna say that we can move up here. This guy is very, very, very unhappy with his uh, life choices, and therefore he's unhappy with his life in general, so we're gonna kind of remove that for him. Now, there is a few problems here. One of those is that, that crab monster dude still standing. 
The other one is there's other issues here. All right, so I'm going to take out Captain Crab Ragoon here. Or I'm not going to do that because he survived. Instead, I'm going to shoot this get thing. Yeah. I wonder if I'm going to hit it. Okay, I just, I just want to point out whether this game works exactly how we envision it working or not. Because some people are like, there's some flaws and stuff. I think we just have to get used to the game mechanics and how they work. And once we do that, we're going to be a little bit better off or more familiar with it and we'll understand it a bit better. But, but, the fact that I cannot miss at that range with a weapon fills me with so much joy that you guys cannot physically understand, emotionally comprehend, or mentally realize exactly what the, oh, it's so good. You know how many times I've had a 99% chance to hit and the entire battle was pivotable upon me landing that attack and it not landing like it has happened to every single person who's played XCOM and the fact that that just let me oh I'm so happy I'm not real happy how the other guy oh he bled out oh that's 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 excellent that's that's so good all right now I will say that it's possible maybe once body parts are wounded like the head is dead or whatever the case is if we shoot those parts, that might be how we do zero damage when we shoot an enemy. I'm not entirely certain yet, but that's very possible. Okay, everything is kind of pointing toward the enemy being over here. And I'm okay with that. I am on board for that. Oh, we spotted something. Oh, yeah, well, we spotted the enemy we were looking for. All right. I don't think it's aware of us yet, so... Um... Hmm... I think... That I could probably... do enough to make this a thing. Attack. Like, I think I've got enough movement that I can make this a reality here. We might put ourselves in a kind of a risky position if it doesn't work. But if it does... That's it, right? It's the one and only. It's the one and only we did it. Victory! Worried. Very worried. But that went that went pretty decently. I'm okay with how all that went down. We're gonna head back to the scape of the Geos, and it is going to be glorious and sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z. And yeah. I don't really have much else to say. We're gonna we're gonna roam the, the halls and see if we can't just basically go around and unlock a few more things. At least we managed to take those two things down. There does seem to be someone here that we can recruit. It's a sniper. I think I'm going to go recruit that person. Assuming they're still there once we get there. It's not a bad idea to start recruiting a few extra people. Again, if people get hurt, we can leave them behind at various places. So on and so forth. Was there another person over here that's recruitable? And why does this person have a star on their name? What is Danny Jelly Bull Buoy? Elite training centers increase military force. Oh, the infiltrator club. Ooh, new class. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, um, I am all about that. I am coming right now. Don't you dare disappear. Uh, how much does it cost? More than I have. Crap. Well, you know what? I got a lot of extra food. Take some of my food. It's still not enough crap. Alright, um... Oh, you'll sell me some. Alright, I'm moving there. 
Uh, base info. I know this is probably not the, the smartest of ideas. Is that enough? I, I, I don't know. I'm moving. 501. Yeah, recruit. Ugh. All right, so what we need to do now is head back to our base here. And unfortunately, we're going to have to sit some people. And my, oh, my list isn't up. Uh, it's okay. We'll get the list up later. Actually, where is my list? Um, we're going to we're going to just put the people into the position immediately. We're not going to we're not going to delay it. We're not going to forget about it for like 400 episodes like I've done in the past several times. All right, so we have two new people. We have ourselves a snipper. All right, that is quite... You know what? That's that's you. That is you, Mr. Igor Lazeski. That hair, friend. That hair. Igor Lazeski. That is you. Hair color, eye color, voice is fine. I think it's all good. We'll give you some primary colors here. You know what? I kind of like the dingy, the, the dingy green. It's, it doesn't. It looks like brown. Let's give you that. But oh, kind of with a white coat. I, I kind of like. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you know, that's that's too much. With uh, ooh. yeah, there we go. Now that's a sniper right there. There we go. I like that. Little, little weird whorls and stuff. It's fine. All right, you are officially done, and you actually have the Cyclops SR7 Goss sniper rifle, which is no longer your weapon. You're not actually going on the mission right now. We are going to reverse engineer your weaponry, though, just in case you didn't know. Surprise! I know. I too am shocked. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna steal your weaponry. Sorry about it. Uh, I think we can reverse engineer your armor too, so you might just be sitting there in your uh, your your pedestrian clothing for a little bit. I don't know how that works. We're gonna find out soon enough, I suppose. I am sorry to uh, kind of. What are you? Well, you are somebody new, is who you are. You are old Jonas, and I cannot say this last name, so I apologize. Court, court, court. Something along those lines. Good old Jonas. Oh, I know. We can do this, too. But, like, yeah, it's old Jonas, but it's old Jonas. Eh? Eh? That's nice. It's nice. It's sleek. It's fun. It's exciting. All right. What do you have? The Arachne SP-1. Spider drone specialized pistol? What? Deploy spider drone... I, I want all of these things, but at the same time, is this a crossbow? He's got a crossbow? What? I love everything about this this guy. This guy's my hero. Um, you don't need the quiver. We can maybe throw that into your thing. Uh, I don't I don't know what's going on. It's fine. Uh, let's go check out the research. Yeah, we can research, uh, reverse engineer a lot of this stuff, in fact. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all of these things that we have here, ready to go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, do we... Requirements not met? What's wrong? The idle on helmet, don't I have this? Don't I? Didn't, didn't, hmm. Oh, we need two to start. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um. So, see, what happened was... Yeah, there's a lot going on. Alright, so you're just going to go as you are. Uh, I mean... I feel bad not sending Igor on a mission. All right, Andrew, you're gonna sit it out for a little bit. We go back to Phoenix Point. You're gonna hop on the Manticore. Uh, Nolan, you've done some work, buddy. We're gonna let Wes Smith sit it out this time, and we're gonna bring the two of you guys along for the ride. 
And it's it's nothing against you guys. You've done you've done fantastically well. So don't don't feel like we're uh, we're punishing you. You guys have done done really well. And we loves you. But let's get some ammo in that bad boy. Yeah, there we go. Some more ammo in this. Oops, in this thing. All right. Let's go back here. Um. You need all your equipment back, so let's let's hook you up. Your hat there. I don't. What, what, what kind of weapon do we give? We give it a Cyclops sniper rifle. Ooh. All right, we might need that back. All right, let's go back to research. Um, I need that back for more immediate things. And we'll come back to you on that one. And we're gonna come back down here. And we're gonna go back one. Bloop. There's Igor, and Igor's like, you know, I I, I really really need my my sniper rifle. C could I have it back? And I am telling you, I'd love to give it to you, but I don't know where I put it. Is this it? That is not it. Well, oh, dang it! Where did the sniper rifle go? Did I not cancel the research? Pretty sure I did, right? Oh no, I moved it up. Oops, that's what I did wrong. Okay, okay, okay. My, 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 my bad, my bad. All right, you guys can uh, you guys can yell at me and be upset. Where is it now? What's wrong now? Uh, reverse engineer the Cyclops. I don't want it paused. I want it not there. Can, can I can I unresearch this? Oh, no. No, all these are paused. Oh no, that's that's not good. I canceled the research. It's now tied up in there. <gasps> that's terrible. Because we started research, and it looks like as soon as you put it in there, it starts a tiny amount of the research. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, whatever. Um, here, it's it's probably fine. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you uh, some more ammo. Uh, who leveled up? William Hensley, of course. William Hensley leveled up. Look at him. A boom blast. Action point cost of grenades and other explosive weapons is reduced by one, and the range by fifty percent is increased until the end of the turn. That is a skill that I get to use, and I will use it to pretty astounding effect, I would I would have to imagine. Because, you know, that's how I do. Um, yeah, and then we're going to get the extra speed coming soon. I think that's fine. Alright, cool. So everybody is pretty much set. We're, we're basically done with the episode. Four hours to heal. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. I think I'll put Wes Smith back. Yeah... We're going to let Igor sit this time. And we're going to bring uh, Andrew K back in. And we're going to give you your equipment. And we're going to resupply you with the ammo that you need. And I think our squad is ready to go. I mean, some of them are a little bit hurt. We're going we're gonna to sit out here for a few seconds. I want to get a little bit more research done. Hop it into a few different places like over here. Move over to this one. Explore. I'll make sure that we get our scan done too. So I'm going to actually hop out way over here. That's probably better. Yeah, let's go there. We can't do the area scan because of us not having enough. Okay. Well, guess what? We're going to have enough here in a second. Because we're going to trade some food. There it is. I'd like to be manu like gaining some of this each time. We don't have anything that's allowing us to gain these things. And I feel like that is kind of an issue. But we'll see. Alright, moving over here. Exploring. Moving over here. Exploring. We've been ambushed. Uh, apparently we're going to have to do this one in the next uh, episode. But we'll hop in. We'll get ourselves all situated. And we'll, well, like I said, we'll begin our defense and hopeful successful extraction in the next episode 
Uh, good stuff happened this time around. We got uh, some new units. Two of them seem to be... Well, one of them is a sniper. But with some different equipment handy, which is nice. And then the other one is just a, like an elite specialty unit. So an infiltrator, which seems pretty cool. So I don't, I don't really know what to think of it. But I'm pretty excited to find out how it all plays out. Anyway, we do see enemies on the field immediately. It's one of the crab monster magoobers there. And we see another dude over here. It's one of the inviso, I don't want to be shot more than once type guys. So, we'll see. Hopefully we get to the point where we can like one-shot those guys. And then they go invisible and it doesn't matter. Or we get some other solution to their invisibility. Who can say? Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later.